Hello everybody. We are really? working on, really, we are on a whole new food adventure. Started this week. Um, I went to a nutritionist this week and uh, her name's Katie Lovett. She's down in Waxahachie. And a couple of the apps um, help us prepare for the meals and everything for our nutritional requirements and those kind of things. So we are beginning um, to kind of reorganize our kitchen in order to to do that and prepare a shopping list and things. So, it's an incentive. yeah, it's given us an incentive to to do that. On my phone, I don't know if you can see this. Anyway, there's a an app. It's called Eat Love that you can select meals from and then develop the grocery list from that for a week or however long you want to go. So, we are in the process right now of in our pantry, for example, we have all of these jars and things we need to move out of the way. So we're going to put those in a storage bin and just keep out the few that we use at one time. And we're starting to prep by taking some of our stored beans and things and separate them out for the meals. So while we're doing that, we're also going through on the app through our shopping list to find out what we have, what we don't have, and um, figure out what we need to do for our shopping and what we can grow ourselves and um, just uh, starting this starting this whole adventure um, we do two days a week of the blue apron and um, there's another app that has our food logs and all that kind of stuff in it um, so it's a little bit of work but I think in the long run it'll be worth it and help us um, achieve our goals alright guys we have uh, spent quite a few hours this morning trying to get our shopping list, figuring out what ingredients we have and what we don't. I showed you the app that we're using earlier through uh, Katie Lovett's company Nourish, um, Nourish and Thrive. Um, we have our ingredients for this week laid out on the table and we had, how many of them did we have already here? 44. We had 44 already here. Ish. And we have about how many that we need to buy? 59. Okay, and that's for meals from Monday through when? Sunday. Through Monday, Monday through Sunday. Through, yeah, Monday through Sunday, and it's breakfast, snack, lunch, and dinner. Yes. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a snack for seven days. Yeah. And if it was later in the season, we would have more from the garden. Like yeah, blueberries so, and raspberries and that kind of thing. Yeah, so a lot of the berries and some of the greens that we have run out, we've just replanted. But we'll have a lot of those kind of things um, as the season progresses. We'll have them that we grow ourselves. Mm -hmm. So our list here on the, on the counter. Whoops, list got shut down. Yep, this is everything. This is all, these are all of the things that we have for the seven days to uh, prepare these meals yep. on this nutrition plan? Kind of. Kind of? Yeah, well, like it calls for almond milk. Which and we're gonna make. Well, so I have almond soaking. I'll be making almond milk, and it also calls for peanut butter, so I'll be making almond, almond butter. butter instead. Yeah, so I'm soaking those nuts for that. Um, uh, th this is a, what everything from the refrigerator, eggs and carrots, and um, it asks for chicken broth, but I have bone broth that's you chicken know a mixture. Pork, pork and lamb in that. Yeah, that's my barnyard mixture. <laughs> um, Let's see. We have pulled out all the spices we'll need to add as ingredients to these. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's oregano down here. And then we'll grind our own coriander that we grew. And then we have the oils and vinegars um, that we had on hand. There's a few we have to pick up. Not too much, though. So, not, not bad considering uh, how many we yeah, have to buy and how like many we it, had to start a whole new menu. It called for raspberry jam or yeah. raspberry jelly, but we had boysenberry, and boysenberries are... Black a cross of blackberry and raspberry, mm -hmm. I think. So that'll that will do. So kind of substitute here and there as we 
go through the, oh, it called for cans of beans, so a can of black beans, and a can of white beans, and a can of kidney beans. So we had the dry beans on hand. We're going to soak them and cook them to prepare yeah. them ourselves. Yep. So tomorrow, so these will be, these soaking things will be prepared tomorrow, and then whatever lunches or anything I can do ahead of time, I can do that tomorrow as well. So, so the meals are for two. Mm-hmm. Um, and some of them have leftovers. Some of them have leftovers, and so the day, like you go to work, you know, at the church during the week. So the lunches that we prepare ahead of time, maybe the night before, you can take your part to work, and my part will be here or wherever yeah. I am. Yeah, and some of them are like jar salads and things like that. That I mean, you can put in a little snack container or yeah. whatever. That'll work. So the Eat and Eat Love app that we get all of this from, again, through Nourish and Thrive, she's the uh, nutritionist, dietitian, or whatever that is um, helping us do that. And so I think that that app is only available through those kinds of professionals. So it has the RX on the app. So it does have. It's a so the meal plan, the meal plan that includes all of this for the seven days also was... Um, a prescription based on height, weight, size, and energy le or um, activity levels, and those kinds of things. So, yeah, so she's taken all of those into account through some interviews, and um, we'll. Uh, and shoot, I was going to say something else. I can't remember what it was. What were you going to say? Uh, I can't remember. You forget it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. Is there something in this diet for memory? Blue, right? Up. I hope so. <laughs> Well, I wasn't in on any of those, so I'll be eating your food, so. Yeah, but I did tell her a lot of the things that yeah, that um, are kind of an issue for us, both the bone bone density yeah. and all that kind of and things. And I read on her website that um, some of her clients are not, she can, um, they're not in this area. She can do visits over the phone and that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's true. So it really doesn't matter where you are with today's technology. She can do the same thing she did for us. Um, she can do via video conference and through the, of course, the apps that were that we mentioned. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Anything else? I don't know what her website is right off the top of my head. Nourishandthrive.com? I'm not sure. Is it on this? I don't think the link is on there, no. Oh. Well, we will so get She it. also has a YouTube channel. Um, I found it under Nourish, the and sign, and the word Thrive. Um, so if you want to check out some of her videos, it's a brand new YouTube channel. So um, we'll give her a shout out and hopefully you guys will check it out.